welcome to the show, Alex. From Nottingham? That's right, yeah. OK, and what do you do for a living? I'm a student, a master student. I, I doing what? I'm doing creative producing at Mount View Academy. I've been working as a company producer at the moment. Right. Do you put on your own shows now? I did, yes. I just put on a, uh, a night of uh, LGBT comedians. I had Robert White come down and do a set. OK. Do you act yourself or have you acted? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've just done a one-man show called Not All Men that I took to the Fringe. I'm doing it again at the Catalyst Festival. Great. How'd it go? Good reviews? Well, I didn't get any reviews. I didn't come down. I did email. Any reviewers out there? Just do it again. <laughs> <laughs> what made you want to come on the show? Get money to produce? Well, yeah, I would like to do that. I'd like to go to the Neighbours set. Cause I like to watch Neighbours, go down to Melbourne. Um, really? Yeah, I would, yeah. Why don't you be in Neighbours? Well, yeah, I wouldn't mind it. My accent might stand out a little bit, though. Well, OK. Um, cash milled around. Each correct answer is worth a thousand pounds. Right, Alex, here we go. This is your big audition. <sighs> Ready? Ready. Your time starts now. The alliterative term for the main actress in a film is leading what? Actress. Lady. Oh. Which German-born scientist discovered the law of the photoelectric effect? Um, you think? Einstein. What 1986 number one by Madonna was re-released on Blue Vinyl 2019? Pass. True Blue. In the rhyme, the house that Jack built, what animal killed the rat? A dog. The cat. Patrick Duffy and Linda Gray played characters with what surname in Dallas? I've got no idea, Bradley. Ewing. Which royal is commandant-in-chief of the first aid nursing yeomanry? Anne. Princess Anne. Correct. The 1987 Oxford Mutiny was a controversy before what sporting event? The cricket. Boat race. What half-man, half-horse creature appears on the Remy Martin Cognac logo? I, I don't know. Centaur. Glaucoma affects what nerve that connects the eye to the brain? Um. Yeah, irises. That weren't very good, was it? Optic nerve. I don't know why I came on this show. <laughs> Alex, thousand pounds. Well, you know, we've got... All to play for still. Thousand pounds is very good for a student, Bradley. I admire your optimism. I, I really apologise, team. I, I, I do. Right. I don't know any of them. <laughs> don't apologise. They're not bothered. Right, he's not very nice, Bradley. You know. Are you ready? Let's build me up. They said you, you're nice to contestants. I'm lovely to contestants. You are lovely. It's the students I give a hard time to. Fair, that's fair play. All right, are you ready? I'll tell you something, you're fun. We could hang out together and we're going to hang out at the let's, table. Let's get a pint, Brad. We're, we're, not, we're not working. Time time to face the chaser, but who are we playing today? Will it be the vixen? She's been described as ruddy because she's taken all the ruddy money. Or maybe it's the beast. His last dinner had more courses than the Open University. Are we playing the governess? Less Penelope Cruz, more Saga Cruz. Perhaps it's the Cineman. At school, he got moved up a year. Even his teacher couldn't stand him. Or are we playing the Dark Destroyer? Less Playboy, more Play-Doh. Who do you want to take on? I quite like the Beast. Yeah. yeah. OK. Threat. Threat. Yeah. Or you'll be a threat to him. No, no fear of that. That's his stuff. Time to bring on the chaser. <laughs> oh, hello. It's the boy in the house, not the least at all. Now then. It's the stand-up comic and doctor that is the cinema man called Sinha, funny guy. Hello, Alex. Hello, are you all right? Bit of word of advice here. Don't worry about getting no reviewers at Edinburgh. I have it on good authority that once you've been on the chase and you've been seen a few times, the audience will watch any old rubbish you put on at Edinburgh. Yeah. Oh, this is a, it's a marketing tactic. Good. Here's a man who does Edinburgh all the time. You, you so. do, yeah, yeah. I met a guy who knows you, actually, over last night, yeah, yeah. You met a guy who knows Paul last night? Yeah, he's a comedian as well. Oh, what was his name? Charlie Ross. Oh, yeah. He was the MC. Funny guy. As funny as you? Oh, way funnier than me, right? Way funnier. Than you're me. funny. You're funny, I'll tell you. Okay, let's put some money on the table. It's not a lot, but let's put it there anyway. A bit easy now, Brad. Thousand pounds. Now then, you can change your starting position, Alex, if you wish. If you want to do so, take a step closer home. Chase will offer you a low offer of one pound. Yeah. Thank you. And a high offer, please. I mean, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> you didn't bring a lot to the table. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, this is 20 times what you brought to the table. £20,000. There you go. Uh, have a chat with the team. Diana, what do you say? Well, I don't think your morale is all that good. <laughs> uh, but if you do want to try, the 
thousand. Go ahead. Otherwise, come back with the word. Come it's back just anyway. It's better and better this show. Fair play, Diana. Thank you, Bev. Alex, we don't know what form is on. You're our first player. A thousand pounds is a lot of money. Um, just get yourself back here. Mark, what do you say? Yeah, as a student, uh, a grand, it is a lot of money. And I, I could tell you were nervous for the early questions. So uh, take, take the grand and come back. I was nervous. nervous. Do you know what's annoying me? I get a, a princess and I got that question right. Why would I want... I'll tell you what, that was a great answer, by the way. Well, yeah, the princess yeah. Anne question was brilliant. Yeah. And it came out of the blue from nowhere. OK, we have one pound, a thousand pounds or 20 grand. Alex, what will it be? It's going to be a grand. Yeah, absolutely. Grand it is. Thank you, Chaser. I, I got a text message in the middle of the night last night from a comedian friend of mine called Charlie Ross that went, you've got to write one tomorrow, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't quite know what he meant by this, but um, we're we'll soon about to find out. <laughs> Brilliant. Alex, for a grand, the chase is on. Come on, let's get this time. Good lad. I like it. Good fun. All right, here's your first question. 